So there's no doubt that you are creative. And I beg to actually give you a couple of reasons why I believe every single person is creative in their own way. However, there are a couple of things that sort of, you know, create a, a different narrative where there are two types of creative people and understanding which one you are is very important. So let's just say there are two types of creatives, creative X and creative Y. Now let's understand a couple of things about these two people. So we'll start with creative Y. Now these are people who don't think that they are creative or sometimes they think they are. Um, sometimes they think they are a genius, but then oftentimes it, will, it doesn't happen. And whenever it is they look back at the things they've created in the past, they always see a fault in it. Sometimes when they destroy their own works, they even believe that it's not good enough. And sometimes they have so many ideas, but when it's this time to take action, they don't know which one to choose. And at some point, whichever one they pick eventually suddenly becomes less important and very uncreative. To them, with all the enthusiasm they've gotten, it just fades away all of a sudden. And they always think that someone else is probably better than them in doing whatever it is they do. And they try to keep that particular thing a secret, which will result in them hiding what it is they're perfect at or better still, not even wanting to associate themselves with anything creative at all. Now, this kind of person, if you ask them to write a book, for example, they can go ahead and write three different manuscripts that are unfinished, and then they will give you a list of ideas on how to do a lot of different things, take backyard work, to make it into a movie or a film. So basically, they pick an idea, split it into three different things, and give you a whole new perspective to this thing, but they never, ever complete it. If you ask them to solve a problem, they will definitely give you a very ridiculous answer, which is almost impossible. And it gets to a point where they won't really solve the problem for you, but then they'll keep asking questions to give this particular problem a broader face and make the problem bigger than it is in the first place. Now, the type Y people, if you ask them a question, they are always open to asking questions and that is their nature. They always ask questions like why, who, how, and you know, all those other ridiculous questions. And eventually, they give you something really important, which is figuring out exactly why you do the things you do. But then, let's go to the type X kind of person. You know, these are people who are highly creative. Well, that's what they think. And they tell themselves this and everyone around them the same thing that I'm creative and I'm the best at what I do. Or they tell everyone that creativity isn't really important and if they doubt themselves and their work, they never show it. You know, they are the kind of people who have this big and very important sort of ego where nobody really can tell them otherwise about themselves. They have this self-confidence and a little bit of pride. And as much as this pride is there, they're the kind of persons who always show pride in their work. They don't decide to do two things at the same time. They focus on just one thing. And rather than following the process itself, they want to actually get the result done even without following the process. Now, if you ask this kind of person to write a book, for example, you either get nothing or you get the 100 bullet points in a list of unconnected data. So they go around giving you all sort of things that don't really matter and get to a point where they tell you this is how to do it, but they don't show you or they don't do it themselves. Now, one other thing about them is that if you ask them to solve a problem, it will take them ages while they go through it and a massive preamble of different different kind of rubbish it leads them to a point where they sort of make you feel like your idea is relevant or what you're trying to do is relevant and they never go straight forward with the answer the type x kind of persons they don't ask questions they make the closed down statements of no and put a cross on it to prove that you are doing the thing wrong they are very used to not wanting to get anybody's approval and they feel like their brain is the maximum thing that is ever that, that, that ever exists basically and they have this sort of attitude to think of things in two ways yes or no black or white binary or non-binary they are never in the middle they pick a side and they stick to it so now i want you to ask yourself this kind of question which sort of creative are you are you the why kind of creative who always asks the question of why, who, how, the genuinely curious person who wants to understand why the things are the way they are, or the second type, type X, who sort of believe that they know everything, they are the best at everything and never give you a solid response to what they tell you. So when it comes to problem solving, what kind of creative do you think will solve more problems? When it comes to delivering a better result, what kind of creative do you think gets the most results out of anything they do? 
And as we round up, I want you to understand that these two set of persons can actually be found in one person. As creatives, we have two sides to our minds, the logical one and the analytical one. So ask yourself, what kind of creative are you? Are you the logical one? Are you the analytical one? Or are you a blend of both? <laughs>